this is Burn Sargis with another edition of Inside OSU, and today I'm standing among the 300 plus Cowboys marching band. We're gonna meet the band director and several of the members of the band. Well, now I'm talking to Brad Snow, who is the director of the Cowboy Marching Band. Brad, you've got a great organization here. It's a great organization, and second to Mike Gundy, I think I have the greatest job on campus. Uh, how, uh, how are band members chosen? How are they selected? Well, it's an audition process. Um, they contact us, just like um, football recruits. People kind of have their short list of schools, and they contact us, and we put them through an audition process. And you recruit them? We, we recruit them, and a lot of people recruit us just from watching us at football games. It looks to me, I mean, you do this right outside my office, so <laughs> I kind of have a feeling for the, the, the time you put in. How many hours do you put in to get ready for a performance on Saturday? You know, we put in six hours a week um, that, that I see, but if you multiply that times for the 300 students out there and then think about all the time they spend individually memorizing music and all the time they put in during band camp and just all the hours that people don't see beyond game day, and you multiply that by individual students, you're talking about thousands of man hours. And then you actually uh, perform at a, a number of other events, or part of the band. We do, we have about probably 40 commitments every year that we support. And then of course you're over there at basketball with all the get up. And we are, on. yeah we are. We have, we have about 60 uh, spirit band activities that we, we do, and then about 40 marching band activities that we support. Uh, how much bigger do you want the band to be? Um, we're at about 250 to 300 right now. I'd like to see that anywhere from you know 350 to you know, maybe 400. You're doing a great job. Uh, I hope the students know how much they mean to the whole overall excitement and spirit of the university. I think they do. It's uh, as you know, you can probably tell um, on game day that students put in a lot of work and they take what they what they do very seriously and they they honestly believe, as do I, that they have an impact on the outcome of the game. Well, they're, they're exactly right about that. We appreciate everything you do. Thank you, it's my Thanks, pleasure. Brad. I dip the ice cream, put it put back it in the, the bowl. Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> here we are. We're talking to three students, three members of the Cowboy Marching Band. This is Allie Akers from Enid, Oklahoma, who obviously is a twirler. Uh, this is Chelsea Chippendale from Keller, Texas, which is in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And we've got Kevin Ayers, who is our senior drum major. He's the guy that gives it this stuff. So uh, how do you like being in the band? I love being in the band. I love going to the games and especially twirling for it. How do you get, don't you worry when you throw it up like that? You're so not going to catch it? I do worry. That's why I have this black tape, because the stadium lights are so bright, especially at the night games. And so the black tape helps me see it. And I spot this, and I have to watch it until it's in my hand. When did you learn how to twirl? When I was three. I'm the third generation twirler in my family. My mom was a twirler, my grandma was a twirler, my aunt's a twirler. So. Is it just super exciting when you go out on the field? It is. When we start run on and the drummers start going, I just get a rush of just adrenaline. And I'm just so excited for the game to go and pregame. And Chelsea, uh, you're you're a freshman here, yes. and you got a, a scholarship yes, I did. Uh, to come to come to OSU. How did you pick OSU? Well, I was looking at a lot of different universities, like some in Texas and some in Oklahoma. And I came here, and it felt like home. And so I was really grateful for the scholarship, and it definitely made my choice a lot easier. Now, what instrument do you play? French horn. French horn. Yes. I see. And and are you playing? You're out there. I mean, you're yes. starting as a freshman. Yes, I love it. Like well, she said, run on is so, so exciting. Well, Kevin, talk about uh, as senior drum major. Have you been in this all four years? Yes, this is here? my fifth year here. Fifth year, yeah. I see. Uh, do you all realize how exciting, uh, how, mu how much you add to the spirit of the game? Oh, yeah. Every This is my fifth year here, like I said, and so every year you build that momentum. So my freshman year, we played, we made some noise, and then my next year everybody was like, Guys, the band is getting louder and louder and bigger, and then by my fifth year, we're pretty much a big deal around here. Uh, what's the West End Zone like for you all? How do you like the West End Zone? You got all the students there. And... So I love it. I love it. Does it add a lot to the whole yeah. experience? Yeah, it does. Because yeah. you used to be in the East End, right? East End Zone on the field, and now that we're actually in the stands, we have fans around us, fans walking in front of us, yelling at us, and going crazy, hyping us up the whole time. It's a lot of fun. Well, 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 let me tell you, it wouldn't even be close to the same thing without you guys, and you make a huge difference. Difference, and I hope all of you understand that because we really appreciate it. Well, that's it for another edition of Inside OSU. Be sure to stay in your seats at halftime at the football game to support the Cowboys Marching Band. Well, what do you say, guys? 
Let's hear it. 